Okay, YouTube suck boy Mahalo here with another video, and this time I just finished uh, pouring concrete. As you can see, you can uh, flatten this one up. Then uh, just make sure that uh, once you pour the concrete that your uh, legs are equally still space. Sometimes if you don't uh, tie it that good, this uh, rebars here have a tendency to move. So I have it supported on this side here. And then this one here is pretty much straight up and down. So it's been uh, held up by the the ties also when you're pouring concrete uh, I usually add more water than I guess it's supposed to it's a lot easier to uh, mix and plus once you pour it on the concrete I mean the, the form it's easier for them to uh, find the nicks and crannies and I also use the this trowel here to kind of move the concrete so, so you can uh, spread it uh, easily so you won't get like uh, something like this which is called honeycomb because uh, you didn't compact the concrete enough plus the concrete did not flow properly so you have like honeycomb pores in the concrete all right so this this one here I'll let it set for about two days at least two days don't uh, take the form out after 24 hours because sometimes your concrete will crack if it hasn't really set yet then it's uh, uh, it will crack on you and then <laughs> you'll start from scratch again so let it set for 20, uh, I mean uh, two days so 40 48 hours and uh, I think that 48 hours is good enough plus uh, tomorrow morning I usually uh, apply water on the concrete in the morning the next day so that uh, uh, while it's still curing it still has that moisture that it needs to cure and of course uh, curing is basically the evaporation of the the water but uh, with the water it uh, chemical uh, compounds react and solidify so you need the uh, water the post I, I water it uh, the next day and then the day after that when I take the form out and then once I put it in the hole uh, and kind of secure it with uh, the soil backfill and compact it maybe I'll show you the, the video on how I do it I, I also water again the post so I usually water the post for about a week or so so that because it uh, continues curing so that's it uh, till the next video maybe after two days from now uh, I'll be taking out the the forms and then putting it in the hole and I'll show you how uh, the plastic container is, is also open down at the bottom all the way to the ground because a few of you have asked if the container is sealed or just have holes it's actually uh, open to the ground so I, I keep my uh, soil open all the way to the ground so it'll have good drainage too all right again uh, this is Sakpoi Mahalo thank you for watching hope you have a good day bye bye